how many times have you looked at the vertebrae and said i'm trying so hard but these vertebrae are so confusing well confusion is good it's an excellent place to learn something new from hi this is dr avinash from pulse tutorials mumbai and in today's master class we have a look at the vertebral anatomy let's have a look at a typical cervical vertebra a typical cervical vertebra has two parts an anteriorly placed body also called as the centrum and the posteriorly placed neural arch or the vertebral arch which encloses this canal called as the vertebral canal through which the spinal cord will pass the body or the centrum is small it is broad from side to side then from before backwards it has two surfaces a superior surface and an inferior surface the superior surface is concave side to side and we can see lips projecting out from either side the inferior surface is shaped like a saddle it is concave in the antero posterior direction and convex transversely the arch as we can see here is connected to the vertebral body with the help of pedicles so these here are the pedicles the pedicles are directed backwards and laterally these are the lamina the lamina connect the spinous process with the superior and inferior articular processes the lamina are pretty long and they are comparatively thinner above and thicker below the superior and the inferior articular processes form the joints with the upper and the lower cervical vertebrae respectively the superior transverse these are the superior and the inferior articular process the superior and the inferior articular process form articular pillars and they project laterally on the superior and inferior side of the junction between the lamina and the pedicles the superior articular process are pretty flat and they are directed upwards and backwards whereas the inferior process are flat and they are directed downwards and forwards so superior articular processes are directed upwards and backwards whereas the inferior are directed downwards and forwards these are the transverse processes now the transverse processes as you can see have two roots they are the anterior root and the posterior root between those two roots is this foramina called as the foramen transversarium and the two roots the anterior and the posterior root are attached with to each other with the help of this bar called as the costo transverse bar the midline process seen posteriorly here is called as the spinous process it is a midline process which is always short and bifid and it is usually filled by this ligamentum nuque which runs at the back of your neck 